Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tangents Podcast. It is I, Milk, and I got here a fucking cool ass dude. Go ahead, Vorlon. Uh, well, thanks. <laughs> so, oh, oh, cool oh, 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 yeah. Only time he's complimented me. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, what other stuff about Argus? <laughs> And now oh, Argus, the, class, the nerd, the dweeb, the, the nerd, dork, the do- <laughs> the <laughs> incel. Oh yeah, the, the incel. incel. Yeah, I forget. I forget. Yep, I'm the incel. Yeah. It's well, just us three incel. for now. I'm the incel, never, I'm the incel never, with a microphone. Never yep. heard him say a compliment to me. To me, that's why I froze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, Who the fuck like, are? This like, guy's assimilated like milk. <laughs> it's like it's like a woman being in like a, a not toxic relationship for the first time. She's like, she's like, wait, what? I I don't have to cook you dinner when I get home. What? I actually had well, to don't beat my Orlon ass. blew the shit out of me last night, so <laughs> so I'm in a good mood. I I actually. Get- uh, when I was working as assistant supervisor, I had this one girl who. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, it was it was a situation where it's like new youth of America or whatever, where she just didn't want to work, but if I told her to work, she would work, so it wasn't too much of a hassle. Oh no, I hate where this is going. Okay. Well, so, well, me and her talked one time about like her and her 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 ex, and how. Without her, his life has improved. He's worked on his health. He's he's gotten much more successful. She says she wanted nothing to do with him when they were together. Why are you? Always, they, why are you always banging they, like women that are married or in relationships? I didn't hook up. I didn't hook up with this girl. She was my subordinate. That's fucked up. Oh, bro. Oh, so you raped her? Speak. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> lord. Oh, okay. Now, now it's way different. <laughs> no. All right. Listen. Just, no. Christ. Like, like she told me that like, he he's like better off without her, but now uh, that she, but now that that he's like worked on himself because she didn't want him before now she now wants she him, wants him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. he has like a huge t- yep, like he posted a picture him. of his cock next to like an old picture of his cock <laughs> and he's like no. grew four inches by by jelking every day guys <laughs> it works <laughs> this is what you miss <laughs> fucking, fucking jelking always on that grind <laughs> No, bro, <laughs> jelking is so weird. God damn it! So for the uneducated viewers, should we tell them what jelking is? It's when it's when you yank on your cock super fucking hard. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think you, you tie can... a string around your penis and then you slam a door yeah, no. shut. So, no. <laughs> so, so jelking, from what I've it's been described to me. Uh-huh. Underage viewers probably skip this section because so I don't want to have get the catch underage, your, underage viewers have to joke. We're past the 10-second mark, <laughs> no, and no, we've people, always been Now is the time. If you're 12 years old, yeah, now is right. the time to start joking. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't want you to be the guy that said that. <laughs> uh, joking is where you... A lot of guys do it this way. They actually will... F- <laughs> it's so weird. They'll actually... They'll basically... yeah. And like you said, they'll tie. There's contraptions made for jelking that you can do, and some dudes will literally hang from the ceiling by their penis. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can find videos of it, and they'll just like sit there spinning. And I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you're just like you're putting way too much trust in this literal string to not just rip your penis off. <laughs> I heard the old wet towel. Like they get a warm wet towel, they wrap it around their cock, and then they then they tighten it really tight, and then they go from base to tip through it for like forty minutes. Have any of that sounds have any, safer? Honestly, have, have any of y'all ever done the thing? Bought one of those like bigger dick machines before <laughs> that like I'll see um, on YouTube. I might. No, you might have. Is that I know. I might soon. <laughs> I mostly I mostly go holistically where I get like chopsticks and I, I like tie them around and I That's put my the, cock through the middle, right? So it's that super tight. Very holistic. It, it hurts. No, it's holistic because it's natural, natural, natural materials. Natural penis. <laughs> so yeah. then, if I do, so then if I did that with metal chopsticks, it wouldn't be holistic. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Is is like metal aluminum is ne- chopsticks? Te- <laughs> metal is technically natural. 
Yeah, I mean, metal <laughs> is, but, like, you can't, but, like, I'm, I'm saying, like, you can't find just in the ground, like, the same refined metal that we use to make, like, cars. Like, we gotta so. do a lot with that stuff. Why are we talking about I mean, holistic te- method, technically joking everything method? Because we wanted to talk about natural. joking <laughs> instead of psychoma. <laughs> technically, Dude, the computer like fucking... we're using is natural. What the fuck? You, it came you, from you, the you earth. <laughs> you sound like fucking uh, South Park Al Gore right there, Bordelon. <laughs> No, don't get it. Okay, fine. Uh, talk about, uh, ser- uh, talk about uh, One Punch Man. I'm fe- like, come on, let's talk about One Punch Man. Yeah, Very serial. Oh, one Punch Man okay. definitely jumps, dude. <laughs> oh, sorry, so that's how he got so strong. I do 1,000 jumps per jump. day, <laughs> along with my tits. <laughs> yeah, he joked yeah. his fucking muscles. He did it. He did it in the. And to replace his sleeping habits, he would just joke for for eight hours at night. <laughs> I remember, I remember when he had to get rid of his ex-wife. He had to give her super quick uh, pelvic thrusts. Excuse wanna... me. <laughs> this is you something. Remember... Got he he beat supersonic by doing the size or like he, he would beat enemies just by doing simple movements right oh yeah 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 oh yeah yeah, yeah. like like when he did serious sides st- uh, side jumps or whatever in season yeah. two everyone was like he was like, <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck bro so, so, so he, he he got rid of his wife by doing super pelvic thrusts i will never get over how he beat sonic the first time just because sonic was going so fast what do you say super sonic he just <laughs> Speed, well, technically his name is Speedo Sound Sonic, but... Yeah. Oh, Speedo Sound? Okay. But yeah, he just literally, he put his fist up and, and <laughs> Sonic's balls just fell oh, onto yeah, his yeah. face. <laughs> I was like, I was like yo. Yeah, I, I, I would was like, dream to have St. Thomas smush my balls with his face. You want side, you want side <laughs> someone to, to crush your balls? That is like beyond gel king, dude. <laughs> Why do you want Saitama to crush your balls? I want Saitama <laughs> to help me joke. <laughs> wait, wait, Milk. When uh, when he grabs your balls, which face would you want him to make? His, like, blank, dull stare or the one where he gets serious? <laughs> I want his serious face when he smush- he fucking crushes them. When he crushes your balls. <laughs> he atomizes my testicles. <laughs> he atomizes it. He le- and the, the, the other scary thing is he could do that. Yeah, it's like, like it's, he, it's like a small nuclear explosion inside his hand. Dude, Saitama <laughs> could literally... <laughs> Saitama could no-diff your balls, bro. Yeah. Do you think he could oh, he fuck. could make a nuclear explosion if he squeezed his hand hard enough? I think he might be able to. But, like, yeah. if, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone that hasn't read, like, the latest arc in the manga, but, bro, maybe I'll talk about it after the episode. No, don't talk about it because I want uh, you're going to spoil me. Yeah, that's okay. Well, then talk about th- only talk about up to season two. Uh, well then, well, so there's not before... really much to talk about because we all know what happens in season two. Yeah, worth the fucking what's the little blue man? What's his name again? The little blue man with the blue hair. What? Oh, you mean a my mask? He's not little. My mask like six foot. He's not mask. What? Fuck another one with blue hair. The spiky boy. The the evil one. What's his name? The one that, that uh, you know, he kicks the shit out of all the heroes. Because he wants to be this, uh, a monster or whatever. Oh, Garo. Yeah, yeah, Garo. He's not blue. <laughs> no, he's got blue hair. Yeah, he's got blue hair. What? He's got blue hair. I just forgot about him. Because I, I haven't seen the anime in so long. I just forget how, I just forget the color of Garo's hair. Yeah, you don't see color anymore. You see, like, the dog. You have, like, dog vision. Wait, wait. So yeah, for you guys, he's it's blue hair. Yeah, dude. What color do you see? <laughs> White. You might be colorblind, dude. I mean, it's, it is very light blue. What? It's yeah. Hold on, hold on, it's hold on. It's probably blue. just a strange remembering thing. No, that's not right. Because every single time I would look to see if a new season would be on Hulu or, or Crunchyroll or whatever, and I, I'd look and I'd see him, like, posing with white hair. Well, you remember him how he got his blue hair, though, right? Where he, like, found a toddler and spushed his sp- soft spot down. And then well, his hair yeah. turned, well, I, hair I, turned I don't white know, blue. For one I, don't, I don't know if you've seen the latest news, Borlon, but we get One Punch Man Season 3 next year. Yeah, One Punch Man's gonna smush a toddler's soft spot in. He's gonna, he's gonna pick, take his finger, and then like cave in the bit the toddler's head, and it's gonna grow for retarded. What? D- okay, so, <laughs> so Matil responded, and he said, "Am Kmap." Am Kmap. Yeah, Am Kmap. 
What? what? <laughs> I think that means he's doing heroin. Or he's camping. Or he or he's doing heroin. Asexuals camp. He keeps showing up as <laughs> white. <laughs> that was such a dumb joke. Yeah, do asexuals camp? That's a good question. Yeah, of course asexuals. <laughs> that's like asking do asexuals. We should probably man. treat asexuals like they're not even human. Do asexuals camp and do lesbians yeah, do pay their taxes? <laughs> <laughs> do lesbians pay taxes? <laughs> Are they exempt? I don't know. <laughs> um, I know a couple lesbians, and or I know a I know a lesbian, and I believe they do pay taxes. That she's not human. Oh, what? Them and their spouse. I don't believe her. You should audit her. You should report to the IRS just in case. I'll do it to the <laughs> ATF so they shoot her dog. Yeah. You uh, think One if, Punch Man's asexual? Whatever... If for whatever reason, uh, uh, considering he's got he's got both Fubuki and her fine ass sister in front of him, yes. <laughs> Say that again for the or audience. Or he's gay. <laughs> I <laughs> mean, yeah. <laughs> Say that for the audience. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about, bro. We can all agree, Fubuki and her sister Tatsumaki are hot as fuck, and Tatsumaki's got a fat ass. The green lolly. Yeah, I kind of see it coming. Also, oh, should I even mention anything in case it's a spoiler? What the green lolly? If you're talking, well, I mean, depends. If you're talking about for spoilers for season two, don't I don't I wouldn't really bother with it. Season two's been out for so long. I mean, I'm missing half of it. Bro, do you need a website that I can send you to watch the rest of season two? It, it probably won't even work. What do you? Uh, actually, I found out that my uh, PC had, or not my PC. It was actually my lap. Uh, no, no, my hard drive. Uh -huh. Had a virus in it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you had a virus you... in it? So real question, do you real quick question, do you have an antivirus? Uh no. What are you downloading? <laughs> well see that's your first problem. He doesn't have well, an antivirus and yeah, maybe stop downloading so much porn. No, last time I, I had a uh, antivirus <laughs> I ended up with a guy trying to hack my account. Yeah, well um, don't so... download antiviruses. <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, what? Don't download an antivirus. What do you download? You have an antivirus built into Windows. <laughs> True. It comes I with use it. A, I only I download third party shift. one, though. If yeah, you, yeah, if you have a third shift party shift. one, you're wasting money. <laughs> no, honestly, no. The best defense for anti God, for virus is to not download retarded shit. <laughs> okay, my my opinion on antivirus is stack them because you for some of them you can stack them unless you have one like mine, which doesn't That's not work, true. which, which That's doesn't a bad like. Idea. No, you can, no, it's not a bad idea at all. Because so, slow, sometimes... slow your system down, unless you actually yeah, you know maybe how to, to some... enable and de disable them all the time. Yeah, maybe to some degree, but it's like, for me, the reason I use two is because, in my experience, sometimes Windows Defender just won't uh, detect some some viruses, or they right. won't detect certain things. My so question it's nice is, to why do you guys have one. so many viruses? <laughs> I've never, I do, I've never actually had a virus on this computer. So, because I I'm safe now. Um, the, <laughs> the my worst experience with the virus it was a great learning experience. My worst experience was with a virus <laughs> was this uh -huh. is back in like 2016 when Overwatch first came out, and mm. I just really wanted to play Overwatch, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just really wanted to play Overwatch. I thought you were going to talk right? about Overwatch porn. So, and then you like, no, 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 no. No, I got a virus because trying to download Overwatch for free. It was a terrible idea. It yep. fucked up my computer so bad. Yep. Like, dude, the computer was like, it would get, oh, dude, I don't know. Whoever made this virus, I want to meet them because they were taunting me with the, the, the virus was taunting me. <laughs> so to prevent me from, to prevent me from opening Mac, Malware bytes, which is what I used at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, to like do the shit, um, it would it would plaster a fucking big ass like watermark in JPEG over my entire screen, and like it would lock me out of like Alt Tab and everything, and it'd be like, oh, download malware bytes now to keep your computer safe. <laughs> <laughs> so it was literally the virus was mocking me. So whoever yeah. made that virus, I want to meet them because they're a genius. Well, well, Mal Malwarebytes is good, I heard. I want to give you my social security and person. Oh, but dude, <laughs> dude, the virus was so bad. Like, I can't even describe it. It's the worst virus I've probably ever seen in my life. Virus. In my limited experience with viruses. It mm -hmm. would, 
it uh, it took me a solid solid two weeks of just constant uh, antivirus to like to clean up the whole system. Damn. Yeah, we had to jump through a lot of hurdles just to get the damn thing working again. But it worked, and then I got rid of it, and now I have this one. Never got a virus on this one. Virus. Yeah, stop downloading virus. gay porn, Borderline. Hacking the mainframe. I've only been downloading stuff from Steam. Yeah, liar. I so found you out. You end up with a virus. Steam. <laughs> so, no, well, no, somehow a virus got on there from me downloading six games in queue on the hard drive. You're lying. That's not you're lying That's, to it me. It happened overnight. I I got on, and I, it said that everything was corrupt, and I was like, okay, can I clean it? Well, it that's said, not no. a virus. That, well, the, what the fuck was it? <laughs> it's a failure in like the read and write process, bro. Yeah, it sounds like you might have just your shit might have just, your hard drive just got corrupted, or at yeah. least those files anyway. Well, it wouldn't let me clean it. Probably because it's dying, dude. Yeah. How long <laughs> have you had the How long have you had the drive for? At least a year. Oh, that's not okay. That shouldn't be happening. <laughs> well, yeah, the thing with I mean. hard drives is that they actually write down onto a disk. True. They're, they're more prone to failure. Well, it depends. How much, how much space do you have on the drive? Because I've had it before on the old system that had the virus. Uh, the virus. Like not like a couple of years after I had cleaned up the virus, my system stopped working because my main drive uh, was my main drive failed because it was too full. Apparently, at least that's what the people told me. Mm. They're like, they're like, they're like, yeah. So sometimes if everything's too, if like the drive's too full, and this gives, I'm paranoid of this because the drive just didn't work anymore. The drive was done for, and they were like, yeah, it just had too much on it. So just keep like keep your shit out of the red in terms of space, and you'll be fine. And I've done that, and I've had this system. I have like six years, and I've never had any of the drives fail on me. So pretty good, pretty good rule of thumb. Even though it came from Geek Squad, and we all know. Geek Squad. You went to Geek Squad? Yes, I went to Geek Squad. Baby. <laughs> Who let the baby in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I get guys. all my tech advice from an Indian man across the ocean. <laughs> exactly. They know their shit. They're always telling me to type codes in. <laughs> to Sometimes fix my I don't stupid understand that code. Drivers. Yeah, they're telling you how to, they're like, they're like, please download, like, or please put in these Google these Google Wallet codes. Yeah, they, they tell I me need to you use to Google pull out stores. your local wallet. Oh, okay, and tell well, let's me not the let's not get one. racist now here, but let's not yeah. get a little racy now. Oh, I'm sorry. Too over they excited. sound different. <laughs> hmm. Huh? No, they don't sound any different. <laughs> you sure? They usually say like, "I'm going to fucking rape you." <laughs> I'm not even really going to regret this. God, you can't say, let's not be racist, and then go for it yourself. <laughs> That's what they always tell me. I'm going to fucking rape you. I'm gonna what fuck what that a fucking kill pussy stealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we're terrible. We're terrible. But, yeah. Stupid. You know, he's back to One Punch Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fubuki's, uh, or Fubuki's so hot. Fubuki's badass. Dude, I've seen so, so much hentai of One Punch Man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny that they really went out of their way to make a lowly character. And it is a lowly character because they even say that she's older than uh, the tall. Looks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but she I has know, a she's fat older ass. than her sister. By like, what, <laughs> six years or something? I think, yeah, think Tatsumaki is like 26. Yeah. Yes. And Fubuki is like 21, maybe. <laughs> So okay. yeah, they, it's a pretty big difference. But she has a fat ass, so it all makes it's all it's all forgiven. <laughs> oh no, she's twenty three. <laughs> nope, nope, that's some that's that's Amina. Why did it take me to Amina? What? Amina? Amino um, acids. Um, Amino, like the fuck? Okay, no, she's twenty three. <laughs> she's twenty three. It's my Amino age. Acids. What the fuck? I'm the same and age then, as Loli. I like how <laughs> I like how on her fandom page, her weapon is a box cutter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not like she's not like she's not an esper like her fucking sister. The <laughs> box cutter. Yeah. And That's then, funny. And then and then Tatsumaki's twenty eight. All right, so all right, no Tatsumaki's way older than us, so I, I could bang Fubuki. And uh, you, you, you could know, bang Bor both. Borderlon can have the little lolly. No, I don't. No. no. <laughs> what do I get, bro? Oh, well, <laughs> no, you get Geno. <laughs> you get Genos, dude. Oh hell no. What do you mean? I would bang Genos. No, you, you know how many women are on Twitter, and they would come up with like the most ridiculous schemes to say men are 
rapists or or just <laughs> vile creatures. And then they have a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> Pick this guy, for example. No, they're, like, they're like, men are so disgusting, and then it's Bordelon in his uniform. <laughs> yeah, it's Bordelon crying. <laughs> Me crying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Geno, but you would oh, you would shit. want to bang Geno's because he could he's a robot. He could have any part you want. He could literally, yeah, he could. No, he's not a robot. He's a cyborg. He's yeah, a but cyborg. he could still have like woman parts attached to him. I, he's, like, I, only yeah. a okay. brain and a spine. Yeah, at what point <laughs> is he a human? By every sense of the word, anyway. This if, man went to cyberpunk and overdid himself. Yeah. <laughs> what if Geno's was a hot girl, but he, he could just do that. had the brain of a man? Like that one head tie where the guy yeah that that that, that, girl. that that Jewish scientist that's always experimenting on him could replace <laughs> his hair. He's not Jewish. <laughs> he has a huge nose. He's not Jewish. Oh my <laughs> lord, he has. Bro, I, we uh, we said we weren't gonna be racist. And they're his born up here racist. <laughs> there's, yeah. There are, the, in my top ten of racist no, I'm just like, I'm just the just top that. ten ethnic groups I hate. Number one, it's he, he struck me more as Chinese. No, number he had number teeth. one. It, Number one is definitely white. No, he struck me more Based. as a Chinese. He had big teeth, so that's what I think he's Chinese. The guy, the doctor that works on Genos. He has huge teeth. Yeah, he has big ass teeth, bro. What? I, I feel like <laughs> I watched a different One Punch Man. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Carol has name, blue though. hair, and the, the scientist has huge teeth instead of just a huge nose. Did you say what Jared? the fuck is going? No, Garo does have white hair. <laughs> Did you just call Garo Jared? <laughs> no, he said Garo. He called him Garo. Oh, I thought you said Jared, like from fucking Subway. Wait, why do I remember Garo having <laughs> I, I blue you were hair? What the hell? I thought, I thought, yeah. See, now you're seeing it. He doesn't have blue hair. No, dude. Okay, I'm gonna. This is. I'm gonna send you an image, bro. Yeah, send send this, me an image. This, this is Gar. That's Garo, bro. It'll, it's should be there now. That I thought I uh, no 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 I I remember Garo having <laughs> no 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 <laughs> why does having one piece what the hell oh yeah look at that he has white hair what the yeah, fuck he's got white hair I remember I told him you having guys. blue hair you know why we probably remember him having blue hair why because of this image because I remember this fight like it was yesterday bro it looks like his hair is blue because oh. of the way it's contrasting with the water fist. Where are you putting this? It's just lighting. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm DMing it. To, I'm DMing oh. it to milk. Sorry. I, well, so I, want, this... I want to see like like where you you got the the, the perspective. I want to see it. I wanted to ask. Do you think? Oh, because what... he's doing his move. Yeah, exactly. Because he's using the water fist. I yeah. wanted to ask guys. Uh -huh. if, if Jared from Subway was in a One Punch Man world, what power <laughs> would he have? <laughs> what power right. would he have? <laughs> He'd already Not be in prison. He'd probably so, be getting like he'd be he no he'd be getting like fucked by a uh, purry purry uh, prisoner? prisoner. Yeah, he'd it's, be getting. It's funny yeah. that you, you say that, milk. What that it, that I, you thought I, you heard me say, Jared? Do you not remember? What Jared from Subway? I remember him. He was a monster. I'm Jared. Mm -hmm. I remember Jared talking about how much weight he lost, and then I also remember Jared like raping kids. I, I'm Jared. I'm I'm also a Jared. Oh. Wait, your name's Jared? Yes. You're, <laughs> you're a Jared, bro. Yes. You fucking disgusting Damn, human. You sick fuck. Sick fucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel that Jared from Subway gave you Jared's bad name? A bad name. I'm a JoJo in real in the real world. You're a what? I'm a JoJo. I have my name Giovanni. Oh, oh Giovanni yeah. or Giovanni? It's that. Giovanni with the J O. Giovanni, interesting. I like. I actually like that name. Oh yeah, people call me JoJo or Joe. My, my what, about, what, what, what about Joe, Joe DiMaggio? Yeah, Joe DiMaggio. So was that like a nickname your kids, uh, your kids, your parents <laughs> called you? Wait, he does not have kids. Uh, well, a like lot a of personal rage is leaking out, gents. I, that... My name's Jared. And Milk has Whoa. kids. <laughs> <laughs> so was that what, like what your grandparents called you? I can see like your abuela calling you that when you were. No, uh, my 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 grandma calls me Giovanni, but um, You're... I'm, I'm not that close with my grandmother. To be honest with you. Well, I I can you tell because wanna... you don't call her your abuela. <laughs> yeah. Do you want Do you want to? Tell Argus what you told me the other night about your abuela, the recent issues. Oh, she pissed oh. all over the floor. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> and I had to clean it up. 
that wasn't very fun. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't. I'm not mad. It's not, like I, it's not like I get mad. It's not like I get mad about it. But um, she like depended on you guys just for like. To yeah, live, so my, I guess. my mom. My mom works at night, so I take care of her at, at night. Mm. Like, throughout the day, when after work, so uh, yeah. I just make sure she got what she needs. I make sure she doesn't try to piss into the toilet because she has her own bucket. She has a cool ass bedpan. A little je- a little she's jealous. Not angry. She's not allowed to. She's not allowed to she use the bucket. bathroom. She has Grandma, bucket. you have your own yeah. bucket. Yeah, because she pisses all over the floor. She's supposed to just pee and poop in the bucket, you know, and then please, uh, at least leave it. It's not an actual bucket, and just calling it a bucket for simplicity's sake. Because I feel like you might be getting if like somebody like takes this a little it's too like seriously. It's, it's not like on the floor from the cops. It's like a bucket, like with like a like a chair type thing, so she could support oh, herself. Oh, so it's like so it's like a Gucci bucket. <laughs> no, it's not like it's not like that. It's like it's like a bucket that's like sits in like this like a uh, stability thing, so that she can poop and pee easier, because the toilet in our in our house is too low. Mm. So she ends up pissing on the or floor. Or maybe maybe she I should get just, a I don't know inside. sit on the toilet. No, because Duh. hey, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> she has no control, Morgan. She can't. I know, She's, dude. My grandmother <laughs> is ninety-one years old, dude. She can barely. Oh move. wow. Understand? Remember... Is your Chihuahua older than that? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, he's um. Jesus, what the fuck is wrong with me today? <laughs> I don't know if it's a I Chihuahua. Had... It's more like a mutt that I. It's have. fine. <laughs> Most of the time, people don't know. I had a. I love the man because he was practically my father figure. Uh, my great grandpa, who served in the Navy in World War II. Did I ask? Uh, I'm kidding. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking choke you. He fought in World War II. Did he fight in yeah. the Battle of Lady Gulf? I bet. Yeah, he, he actually witnessed. He actually witnessed the flag raising at Iwo Jima. Okay, so he w- was he at Lady Gulf? Is what I asked. Damn. Okay, uh, but when he was <laughs> getting older. I don't know what the fuck Lady Golf is. Like, I can't oh, tell what? you. You don't know what Lady Golf is? Oh, then he definitely didn't fight in Lady Golf. Okay, he go was, ahead. Sorry. He was, on, he was on the Arkansas. I don't know, dude. Uh, uh, I'm going to look it up. Uh, tell the story. Shut up, Yeah, Argus. tell the story, idiot. He, his <laughs> dementia when he was older was, yeah. like, getting really, really bad. And he... But, but like, there was something in him that helped him rem- remember me. Oh. So, so, yeah, so anytime he would see me, he would actually like get super happy, but he wouldn't know his own name. He wouldn't know anything else. He, he was just... But he just remembered you. He, Damn, dude. Well, he wouldn't even say my name. He was just he just knew he was happy to see me. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, his dementia was getting so bad to the point where he, he was forgetting to breathe. Yeah. Wow. So people die from dementia. Forget how to breathe and shit. Yeah, that's what that's what that was what was the end of them. And what's, what sucks, I I wasn't there. Like I uh I was I was in San Diego, in boot camp, two days before I was done and heading home. He died. You don't want to be there, dude. Let's be honest. <laughs> no, I guess I, I really... do. I don't want to see someone die. It's My, fucked you up. Know, <laughs> this is a weird thing for me, uh, personally. Like at least this is how I'd like to go. I want to like drop a nuke. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I want to kill. I want to kill, <laughs> wipe out humanity. <laughs> yeah, you want to like. gonna say I want to wipe out white people. <laughs> you want to ride the nuke like in that one movie where they drop the nuke on uh, Japan. Or like in Borderlands, where Scooter like rides the missile up and blows up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um. No. Uh, so. I don't. Yeah. Honestly, like for me, if if I had to pick how I die, I don't want to die with like in a deathbed. I want to like I don't know. Just go off and die somewhere, and then you know, <laughs> like into the into the cold of night. You want to go out into no, no, the winter no, plains? Like, not like a, not like a cat or like how like cats like to die. No, I was like, I'm thinking like like you know one last big party where I'm like happy. I'm you know I'm looking nice and good for the ladies, you know, and no, then the ladies for the, ladies, for the men. Way. There's no ladies there. And then uh, and then like <laughs> I don't know no I like go on a vacation going. and I die on vacation, right? And then like. Everybody re- doesn't remember me like in a sorry state in a bed. Everybody remembers me like uh, oh, like, in like I was pl- happy. I was having a good time. You want to like be that. like in a tragic plane crash is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> like there on is, your way you know, to the I vacation. Other people you know, that thought, die with you. <laughs> no, I thought this might be cool. It's really not. This talk about like how we'd like to die is kind of lame. 
Um, I would like to die with my fucking huge cog ripped off my body by like a million bees, right? <laughs> or ants like bullet ants like chewing at my penis and like and like ripping it off and taking it away. And like just oh you know like God, and then all the bullet foul. ants kind of just like rip me apart like slowly bit by bit and I can't do anything about it like I'm paralyzed. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> That's foul. <laughs> I want to be some Junji Ito shit, bro. <laughs> I want to get picked apart by ants. <laughs> Yo, has anyone speaking of Junji Ito? Because I, I think we want we're gonna talk about that, right? A yeah, little Junji bit. Junji Ito anyway. is fucking cool, dude. Has anyone seen human shaped holes? No, but that's oh, probably, bro, it's that so fuck, it's <laughs> so fucking weird, bro. I've Definitely, seen any of his or, work, but I want oh, to, dude. Oh yeah, bro, dude, bro. You don't. You're telling me you don't pirate manga, bro? No. Wow, that's kind of weird. That is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I just don't go. I I used to like pirate other stuff, and I I just stopped because I was like it, was, it felt like such a hassle trying to find well, one thing. True. You're, but though, in my opinion, your first mistake though is the fact that you're watching anime on Hulu. I mean, Crunchyroll's goaded, but you know. The only times I uh, buy manga is when I already read it and I know I like it. Like I bought all yeah, of Soul kinda... Eater. I bought uh, some of the copies from some of the volumes from One Punch Man. What else I got? I forget what else I got. I kind of want to read Soul Eater because I heard it's way better than the anime, but I'd also like to... It is. It's way better. Though I want to also at the same time watch the anime first and then... It's like watch the anime so I'm disappointed and then read the manga. So then I'm like, oh my god. So like, you know, I'd rather yeah, yeah. read... The, I'd rather watch the bad stuff first than the good stuff to like redeem the franchise for me than watch all the bad stuff like after I'd and then like ruin it for myself. That's a good idea because the anime... Is different from the manga, like, because the anime started and ended while the manga was still being finished. Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, the manga has like extra, like, you know, I think it's like 10, 15 chapters that weren't in the anime, like, with a different the, ending and shit. The other thing, too, for me is after finishing Fire Force, I do want to, and by the way, none of the listeners or you two haven't read Fire Force, even though it's got its issues. What? It's really good. I've seen Fire Force. I, I of course, yeah, that's a man. Dude, it's the anime. Did you just uh, say it's a myth? Three... <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> what? <laughs> and it, season three comes out like next year, I think. Oh, I uh, but, hope so. But if you have the manga, is also really good. So the, end, the ending to it was stupid. <laughs> the end, the ending of the manga. Season two was so dumb. Like, oh, what the fuck was that ending? I don't remember how season two ended, to tell you the truth. I remember exactly, because I, 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 mean, I still see it in Last Watched on Country Roll. Don't so spoil dumb. it. Don't spoil it. Are you actually going to watch it, though, Milk? Well, yeah, I, li I like the fucking, what's his name? Oh, the the guy who made, the person who made Spire Force? Yeah. Well, well yeah, because yeah, they did make Soul Eater. Made yeah. Soul Eater. You're gonna, you might start, I will, actually, no, I, I actually, I'm not gonna say anything about it beyond what, me thinking it's good, because I think you'll get a kick out of, out of, like, spotting things. Yeah. I should, I'm really, I, I really am gonna tell you, because it's so lame. It no, does, it does, it don't does, fucking does, no, tell anybody, don't it, say it anything. Does, no, it's literally a th thing that happens in every anime, though. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill you, Borland, if what you spoil it. What's the trope you're talking, you're trying to talk just, about? Just, just milk. I'm telling you. Milk, what? shut the fuck up for a second, okay? It, it's literally the same thing happens in every anime. There's no reason for them to make this the ending. What is it? This is training. Huh? Oh, the ending for the for the for the season? They just yeah. trained? Yeah, so what, they were, bro, they, dude, it's a dude, it's No, a it wasn't just that, it was the fact that like one of the lesser characters just looks off into the distance and just goes, I hope we can do it. Like what the fuck is this? Oh, uh, you want to you want to see you want to see like big the two strong motherfuckers actually, like, do say something. Or at least, <laughs> at least, give a cliffhanger. Show like 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 one of those ominous bad guys like they usually do, and be mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm I'm the the bad guy. I, I, I I'm, like, gr I'm so grinning much. because you know I'm going to do something interesting. Don't listen I think, to the I think <laughs> I think not. I think not showing what what the bad guys are up to though brings adds in a lot more suspense yeah. because like you don't know what the like, fuck's going to happen. You know what you know what the good people you know, theoret you know what like the quote unquote good guys are doing but you have no clue what the their enemies up to. Yep. Borland doesn't know anything. He hasn't even watched Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I even watched Fight uh, Club. Go watch Fight Club. Uh, no, fight. I've heard a lot of people quote Fight Club, and it's really stupid. So I'm not yeah, gonna watch that, Fight that's Club. That's also no. the reason why I don't want to watch it. No fight. It's a good movie, dude. I don't. And I, I don't honestly doubt I, that it's I a good think film. Borderline it's just like motherfuckers Fight like un- unironically quote it way too much. It's really stupid. Uh, it's They're a like, good movie, like, dude. And it's like too many pop. I don't know. It's too many pop culture references of it too. Well, there's a reason. To tell you what, because <laughs> it's a good tell movie. You what, milk. Tell you what, Bad milk. movies don't get pop culture unless it's like The Room or something. Milk. Huh? What, bitch? Uh. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Dude? It's because he's got... playing Gary's mod, bro. No, I I got a text message. Uh. All right. I will watch Fight Club. If you play Infamous Second Son. <laughs> That's not gonna happen because it's not on PC. <laughs> Oh, weird. Yeah, I'm about to say he doesn't have a unless you want to like mail him your PlayStation. Yeah. But if you honestly, give me if you fucking ma- console. Uh, but honestly, if <laughs> no, someone mailed me a PlayStation, I just wouldn't give it back. Well, that's a that that's not a that's not a good idea, Argus. You have to represent your people. <laughs> you be the fourth Dude, I remember to steal from me. I remember. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's like your, it's like your analogy of how black people are sharks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you're when you're a person of color, it's harder to steal from people, because then you feel, then, you, then yeah then you feel like as they are now this guy's gonna be a racist because of me. <laughs> no, yeah, not well, no, I, it was just because I was so naive and like I I believe like people could be good. Yeah, but you you think black people are scary and they're fear and they're fearsome and they're like and they're like sharks. <laughs> you just got like yeah. just gotta, they won't bite you as long as you respect them. You need to wade well, I mean, in the waters correctly. <laughs> no, it, it was I'm um, respecting. And like, the and like if you not... let blood out in front of them, they'll they'll, they'll just go crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't help themselves. <laughs> yeah, we can't help ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Berlin, this is how this is why we say you're the race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say shit like uh, that. Uh, we, don't, we don't we don't actually mean it. I do. Part. I think you're a dirty racist. I think you're part of the neo Nazi <laughs> group, uh fucking oh, white sure. nationalists. <laughs> no, what was it? White uh, nationalists of America, huh? There was something I was supposed to say. White nationalists of America. Okay. It's like uh or you're a member of NAMBLA. Yeah, you're part. Of, you're part of Nambla. You're part of white nationalists of <laughs> Please America. Please tell me y'all know what Nambla is. No. You're the National American uh, Man Boy Lovers. National Center. Boy Lovers. <laughs> national, <laughs> man Boy Lovers. Yeah, national National Association of Man and like Male Boy Lovers or some shit like that. It's weird. It's weird. Pedophiles, pretty much. That was North American Man Boy Level Association. Maybe I don't know. They try to. They try to. They try to like place them. They're like, oh, we're LGBT, and we're and everyone's like, no, you are not. No, you are not. You're just sick. Yeah, Borland's part of Nambla, dude. He's dude, he's very I rem- Greek. <laughs> I remember the year last year for Pride Month, Nambla like tried to, because Nambla has a flag. Uh, Nambla tried to like, I guess, place itself in LGBT the LGBTQIA plus uh-huh. community, and they got called out. And everyone's like, "Yo, if you see someone flying this flag, just unironically beat their ass." Just I saw fuck people with fucking Morbius on the flag, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, that's what Navla should put as their flag—a a fucking screenshot of Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of how bad Mor- Morbius was. Yeah, nobody would nobody would beat them up after that. They're like, man, I fucking love Morbius. <laughs> no, no one, no one actually says no. Does, no one, there's no one out there who likes Morbius. The only people who like Morbius are people who haven't watched it. So I think and I fit in that group. <laughs> I haven't watched Morbius yet. Yeah, Morbius is such a bad film, bro. How about how about this? How about this trade 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 agreement? I watch mm-hmm. Morbius. You guys watch Fight Club. <laughs> I'm not watching Fight Club. What? I don't it's want a you good, to watch. It's a great I, I, movie. I just don't want, just you don't to, watch want to watch Fight Club, bro. And <laughs> like, I don't want to also put you through the, the the traumatic experience of having to experience Morbius and all yeah, of its terribleness. Yeah, we, we, we don't want you to watch Morbius. That, that's not uh, really a win. Yeah, we don't <laughs> want you to watch Morbius. We just want you to play it for a second. <laughs> Fight Club is a good movie. Okay, and, I'm not uh, disputing that. Just because people are cringe. Just because people are cringe doesn't make watch, it a bad movie. <laughs> I just don't want to watch Fight Club. It's, it's like the same reason Morty. I don't want to watch Top Gun. It's like what? with Rick and Morty, you know, with the Pickle Rick shit. They they quote it too much. 
Oh cool yeah, I mean, it. true. But Top, Top Gun's not. Top Gun's <laughs> actually a good film, though. That's what I mean. They're good films. We just don't want to watch them because we've already heard them. True. Then the you should watch Top Gun. You should. Then you. Honestly, I could. I could honestly understand the criticism of not wanting to watch Top the first Top Gun movie just because of how the pop culture impact it's had and how much it's referenced. And then a lot of people just don't like how like come how like I don't know happy go lucky and how leisurely it is. I think you guys are both sheep, and you're too <laughs> afraid to develop I've your seen, own opinions on things because you dude, think it's I've cringe. Seen, <laughs> okay, Bro, boomer. Dumbass. I've seen both Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick, so don't don't even start telling me that. I'm I talking don't like about like look, look, look at this boomer. It's like when people shit on, on us. The people shit on Rick and sheep. Morty. People shit on Rick and Morty because all the pickle uh, Rick shit. Sheepdog. Oh, but it's also but like the show was good. It's also, <laughs> but wait, hold up! It's also like you shitting, <laughs> shitting on Infamous Second Son. Haven't actually ever played it. Um, excuse me, I did, and I said all I said was I remember hating it, and then Borderline went in fucking insane, <laughs> and then you joined him, <laughs> and you didn't play it. Went, went insane. <laughs> <laughs> you just try, got it right. You didn't kind of like. Viewers, if you don't remember, Borlaug was like running around his room, smashing his head <laughs> against the wall, just screaming <laughs> like it was pretty crazy. Yeah, he was like a fight. He was like screaming at me like I was a small baby goat. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I, 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 I actually hope we get animation. Just so <laughs> dude, I feel like it'd be making my head on the wall and like licking the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> dude, I feel like it'd be funny to if someone like ever animated some of the clips from from these uh, these episodes. I think it'd be pretty dope. Watch Fight Club. It's a great movie. And I think, on, <laughs> honest, I want Borlaug to watch up. it. I Shut want Borlaug to watch Milk. it because he, I feel like Borlaug would love that fucking movie so much. And I want him Maybe to be happy. I want him to would. smile. Yeah. <laughs> have, okay, hold on. <laughs> Shut up. I would, have, 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 you watched, have, have you watched the platoon? No. no. Okay, that movie made me smile. Okay, well, Platoon made you smile. You watch Tropic Thunder, that movie makes me smile. So that one, well, I mean, it, 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 it should, it's a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the RDJ is black facing, that's not funny, but. <laughs> I'm a dude playing another dude. I'm a dude, like a... yeah, I'm a dude playing a dude, Skies is another dude. Yeah, Jack See, Black that, was honestly... so greasy in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and he was blonde, which just doesn't look right. <laughs> You know, what, you know what honestly doesn't bother me, though, is that's like Tropic Thunder. There's a lot of pop culture references to Tropic Thunder, and it doesn't actually bother me. No, because you liked it. Well, I've never actually seen Tropic Maybe Thunder. Maybe if you watch Fight Club and then someone makes a reference like, hey, you know what? That reminds me of a good movie I watched. <laughs> no, I've never actually seen Tropic <laughs> Thunder. I just know a little bit about it. You like never watched whole, Tropic Thunder? What kind of farmer are you? And then he pulls out two AR-15, <laughs> pulls out two fucking assault rifles from under his pod show and goes, I'm a lead farmer, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you never wow, watched sounded, it? sounded like a real liberal right there, I just... Whatever, bro. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know what the rifle in particular is called. I know. AK. It, I, was it AKs? I thought it was fucking. No, it was like M16. It was, it was, or some I, it, shit. was it was either AK or M M16 and A1 prop because they were shooting blanks. I thought they were shooting real guns and they killed like fifty like Vietnamese people in that. In that making no, of that dude. Film. Okay, so it was like unironically M4s with twenty round clips <laughs> or were twenty they round magazines. They were Not Cambodia. M4s. They're Dude, in Cambodia, yeah, I'm literally, right? I'm, I, maybe, I don't know. I'm literally looking at it, bro. They, they're M4s, bro. <laughs> Those are not show picture. Bro, I'm li <laughs> I will tell you exactly what that weapon is. Now for a chance for Borlon to use his marine training for something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finally, it, com it comes up. <laughs> Finally, it's useful. <laughs> yeah. It's not even the marine tree. It's something else. Because from Texas. Texas. Texas draining. Texas draining. My old papa used, used to give me an M4 and Dude, say, okay, what is I'm, this, an M4, babe, an M16? Borderline. I'm right. literally not joking. Those are prop. Those are M4s. All right, yeah, they're props. <laughs> yeah, those are M4s that have really long barrels for some reason. Which is funny because the, the entire movie, you don't see those. <laughs> just for this one particular scene they had yeah. m4s where the those fuck are, did he get those from he just pulled them out of his fucking poncho bro <laughs> he 
He had, he never even had a poncho the entire movie. What the fuck? No, in this like he's disguising himself to rescue Jack Black, and he's like he's pretending to be one of the like what, and they're and they're like interrogating him about his farm, and he just gets up, so he just starts shooting. <laughs> yeah. And that's where he says the iconic line of "I'm a," or well, he says first like "Here's my motherfucking farm," and then. In that, he says, he's farm. like, and they're like, where is your farm? And he's like, here's my motherfucking farm. He pulls out two fucking M4s. Which well, are not, they which by the way Jack are Black. not. They were trying to save Ben Stiller. Mm, never mind then. He was kidnapped. Which by the way, those are not, those are not like accurate to the time. What, Ben Stiller? But, no, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that too. No, no, you're confused because that's not like a, that's not like during the time of war. That's like a movie they're shooting. Okay, so go watch as, Tropic Thunder, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, maybe I should. Because so, that's what I'm confused about. Is it a fi- is it? Are they filming a movie? Yeah, it's <laughs> in it's, a movie. Yes. Oh my god, it's a movie in a movie. They're actors. <laughs> yeah, the point of it is to parody the platoon. Oh, um, I should watch. See, I haven't platoon. seen. I haven't seen the platoon. Because the platoon was a, a movie with, with which are now a list actors filled with a-list actors and they did that for tropic thunder with with like hot celebrities and a-list people so and that was and that was yeah. the point is to say that these guys can't fucking do this shit because they're they're lame one actors that they don't know jerry, anything about jerry seinfeld <laughs> and then had... who would who would who would have thought that the guy who play the guy who's playing a dude disguised as another dude would go on to play to be Iron dude, Man. I love how there was as much controversy about him doing blackface when he nailed it. It's because it was funny. That's all. It was. It was hilarious. Clearly, blackface can be forgiven if it's funny. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't bother. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't bother me personally. The. Well, that's the, the thing. Uh, he wasn't doing blackface because they're tr- like the, the movies are trying no, to like he, be offensive. They were trying to like make I, fun of him for being in blackface. Yeah, <laughs> I can, like look at his I, under- <laughs> I can understand people being mad, but what I don't understand specifically is white folk being mad about it. Because yeah, they they don't have anything else to be mad they, about. They really yeah, that they have no job. <laughs> white people yeah, need is, things to be mad about because they have no they have like, actually a, no real problems. As a, as a black person, <laughs> I'm all for allies, but then I'm also like. I can find allies, particularly white ones, to be super fucking annoying. Yeah, because yeah. they don't know it's like, lame and embarrassing. Because they're like, I don't know. It's just like, like if like <laughs> the white person gives me like the fist, right? They're like, hey, go you. I'm like, shut the fuck oh. up, get out of my sight. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I'm like, you fucking bozo. <laughs> they don't know how to be chill you. about it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like they're like, hey, go you. You can do it. I was like, motherfucker, I know I can. No, it's like, hey, listen, man, way. I'm getting coffee. What the fuck? Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, hey listen. You're getting black hey, listen. coffee. Your life matters. It's like, don't you fucking think I know that? It's like, ma'am, I'm just trying to buy a fucking uh, a hot dog. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you don't you don't have to do this. This is not what. This is not the look. If, if you just want to fuck, just say that. You don't need to go through all this. Yeah, like, hey, go you. It's like, you want some black dick? You want some dick or something? You want to really support. (laughs) No, then you like, shut up, woman, shut up. And you start spraying me. Then there's going to be that one guy saying, look, he's black. This is what he does. (laughs) Yeah, that's Borla in the background. (laughs) You should stay away from him like a shark. (laughs) <laughs> she right, made a bro. huge mistake speaking to a black guy. <laughs> all right, I, I just have to. I have to ask because I feel like it's an important question that needs to be answered. Uh, Michael Bay, iconic or trash? Who the fuck is that? Iconic. Uh, trash. Michael trash. Bay. Remind me who he is. The ex- the guy with the explosions. I don't the know. guy who made like the really over who made like not Mission made Impossible? makes. No, no, no. I don't know what, what what movies did he make? My uh, tra- Transformers most notably. Oh, I don't give a shit about Transformers. I know you do, but I'm saying <laughs> you've probably seen a Michael Bay film. Yeah, I mean it's whatever. I guess Transformers yeah, are cool CGI. Honestly, so Transform. I I've been I just I took it upon myself to rewatch some of the, some of the films. Nerd and <laughs> whatever, bro. <laughs> and uh. And yeah, I got the same thing. It was like the CGI is really good for its time. I heard, I heard Transformers is attractive to autistic people. Is this true? 
I mean, I could make. The, I feel like I could make the argument about Michael Bay in general. <laughs> you think Michael Bay's autistic? That's why no, he's no, so no, into no, no, no. He's just. Well, I don't know. He just. I don't know. Michael Bay's a weird guy. Transformers were cool toys. We're like, we're like. If you like action movies, you've probably seen like uh, Thirteen Hours, Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. What's your favorite? Where, like the movie, like movie. unironically blames Hillary Clinton for no, like for no reason. <laughs> no, that's not no reason. She's an evil woman, but <laughs> I don't, I don't deny that. I think most of our politicians are fucking evil people. But um, what's your favorite uh, action movie? Favorite action movie depends. Yeah. Like, are we talking like just how, just through the sheer action, or like either any anything? Anything by Jackie Chan. Uh, anything. Yeah. I've never. S- what uh i don't sorry someone was talking to me i'm not sure about i don't know i haven't i haven't seen any of the jackie chan any of jackie chan's films so but action movie <laughs> dude honestly i have to just say it's a it's unfortunately a michael bay movie but it's that it's the it's the one i had mentioned before uh, 13 hours uh transformers all right no 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 my favorite is called the raid which was what was it? Filipino movie or was it a Thai movie? I, I feel remember. like I've heard. I feel like I've heard of that movie, and I feel like you're about to say it's like some some horrible shit. That movie is so fucking badass, dude. It's about a cop who like uh like goes into like this uh apartment complex, like mm-hmm. filled with drug dealers and shit, and it's just like they all start hunting him, and he just fucking whoops ass, dude. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, what do y'all think of John Wick then? I haven't actually seen John Wick. I actually might watch it tonight. I, I like the first two. The third one was all right. Yeah, we okay. Well, what do y'all think about like uh, Keanu Reeves? I think he's very cool. good guy. Yeah. Um, I think people think of him as a really good actor, but the I reason think of him as a god. The reason he's John god Wick, milk. The reason John Wick is is good is because he talks the least out of any of his movies. <laughs> he's John Wick is uh, I mean Keanu Reeves is a great actor when he's not really talking. And if you need evidence Ow. of that, you uh you know you look at Cyberpunk and you're like God damn this is awful. <laughs> I'm like, get, Con- Keanu Reeves. I'm a little ske- I I know everyone talks about how great of a guy he is, but I'm really skeptical to say say he's a good guy because just like deep down for me. My brain just tells me most of these people, like actors, right? Mm-hmm. Most of them are, or like famous people in general, most of them are probably terrible people. Like, vapid like people. most of them are, yeah, most of them are probably fucking dicks. And so I don't want to hold out hope to say like, oh, Keanu Reeves is such a nice guy. Because he could be a fucking asshole. He could be a really bad dude. I could see that like in the 90s and shit. But um, like he like lost his daughter to cancer and his wife to like a car crash. Oh and I think fuck! That really, Are you I think that really chilled him out. <laughs> Damn! What, Wait, he must that's have done a real thing. Then. No, I'm kidding. no, no. I I think um, like he like lost his like daughter, like his family, and like he's like all alone and shit. But oh. he's like really now he's like really nice. I heard. Oh. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very tragic. Know. It's very tragic story. <laughs> But all the people that meet him, like on like the bus or like the train, in New York, say that he's say very, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's very kind to people. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like a lot of people are like, well, I've met him on the, I met him on the bus once. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. But like your like ten minute, ten twenty minute interaction with him doesn't really. That's because you know, like like people, if you're like like people, if you're bad, if you're good at being a bad person, you're able to put on like a whole facade to make yourself look like. A decent person for like 30 minutes and then just go home and be a fucking cunt but then again if you would uh, bad people would also just not even go through the hassle and stay and avoid people on purpose you know maybe i don't know i'm just very skeptical i think he's a good dude i'm gonna blow yeah, him yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna I go won't. to his house and blow him <laughs> oh yeah in, in case anyone's wondering milk is by so that's why he wants to blow keanu reeves yeah i mean hey yeah, yes. Borlon. Borlon, you can blow uh, Norman Reedus. Who I also heard was a good You know dude. what? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I heard Norman Reedus is also a cool dude. Yeah. He, <laughs> he doesn't do too much in he terms gave, of acting. 
But he's actually really Kojima cool. weed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hideo Kojima, the guy who killed the president <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, Kojima killed the person. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that, but when when Japan's former prime minister, who was like not, by the way, I want to, I just want to say this: that guy, he was not a good person. <laughs> like, uh, I and that could just be my very, but like, pretty much people have just people have people have described to me that like have described him as basically like the Donald Trump equivalent to Japan, I've or, heard or that like too. sorry, Japan's Donald Trump equivalent, and considering he sent. Donald Trump a gold-plated fucking golf club. I feel like that might be true. <laughs> Donald Dump. But yes, uh, yeah. But yes, uh, Hideo Kojima. People say, "Look, guys, Hideo Kojima fucking <laughs> murdered the prime minister," and he and he tweeted and said, "Like what?" <laughs> he's like, "Where did you get this?" <laughs> that he's like, "That is not me." Now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he smoked weed with Norman Reedus, and then he. He murdered the president because <laughs> he was so high. It was it was Norman Reedus. <laughs> Norman Reedus said murder the, pr- the prime minister of Japan or former prime minister. Yeah, he started flexing it at Hideo Kojima. He's like, I've been in fucking Walking Dead. What have you done? <laughs> and then Hideo Kojima Wait, was like, I made a lot of good games. He's like, shut up, bitch. Go kill the president. That's what Norman Reedus was doing to him. <laughs> Wait, Hideo Kojima was in... No, Norman Reedus Norman, was in... Norman oh, Reedus. Yeah. He started flexing his muscles. <laughs> See, see, I, sorry, I don't. You in the Walking I've, Dead. I've, I was about to say that's really cool, but like, what? Yeah, what I've if never you, seen what the if, Walking Dead. What if Dead, Hideo so. Kojima was Glenn instead? That would be awesome, actually. That would have been yeah. It'd be even more tra- and then Glenn's death would be even more tragic. <laughs> yeah, then Hideo Kojima would be a terrible actor. No one would like him. <laughs> Are people really not like Glenn, like as uh, Glenn's oh, actor. Oh no, no, I thought no, people no, love Glenn. I thought he was like yeah, one of we, a few Yeah, we do. We actually characters. love him. I'm about to say because I remember, I remember, did I remember when Glenn died? I was in middle school and all the teachers were fucking talking about it. Damn, you were in middle school. Yeah, dude. I was <laughs> in like seventh or eighth grade. I already you graduated. got some dumb public schooling, boy. <laughs> I was already graduated was like, when he died. Yeah, I heard teachers talking about how Glenn was like fucking beaten to death, like a little yeah, like. Like one of my teachers was wearing, or it was more like a staff member, but she was wearing a shirt that said, "If uh, who's the dude with the crossbow?" Oh, if, uh, um, no, no, Norman Reedus. That was Daryl. Yeah, if Daryl Dar- dies, we riot. Yeah, exactly. That's what people were saying. They were saying if Daryl die, if Daryl dies, we riot. And I was like, "Is that like because mm. Glenn?" She's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Gotcha." Yeah, if Daryl died, they're, they're the they'd OGs. Be dead. That's why. <laughs> would, would you want to see the OG in your neighborhood just like die or something? Or, or move away? Dude, I mean, if you love dies, the OG. Bro, I live in the suburbs. We don't have OGs. We just got old people. I mean, I've met OGs. I, I bet you have. <laughs> I met OGs, too. They, uh... Yeah, the, were the OG... Are, oh, that's, those were the sharks, right? <laughs> <laughs> the sharks you were talking about, uh, right? The OGs always no. ask me if I want, like, a prostitute or if I want, like, uh, weed. <laughs> no, they, they, were, they, were, they were Chicanos. You want you want to bring? You... <laughs> Cholos. I, thought, I was about to say I was about to say like you want I was about to, like you want prost two young buck, but no, they were Chicanos. <laughs> what or, wait, you mean Chicanos or they were Cholos? It's the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Is it? I yes. thought Chicano. Oh, okay, whatever. That's the same. <laughs> and, and she, I could say I could say Chicano with a better accent. The only people I, I see that. Uh, I guess you can argue that Chicanos are are more like uh, country folk. I, I don't say Chicanos like to me at least my my very limited understanding of Chicanos is that Chicanos are more like country. you know the descendants of like farmers and shit like or like uh, yeah. migrant workers and they identify as such and then Cholos are just sort of like I don't know Mexican gangsters. Yeah, but or people, who, people who call gangsters. themselves Chicanos are pro- are usually just you know wannabe gangsters i'll be honest mm, with you interesting and i can say that because i got plenty of family <laughs> that call themselves that. i i seen a video <laughs> a it farm. was two black guys and it was the video was low-key pro- a little stereotypical <laughs> i found it very funny because it was like there's two black guys they were dressed up as cholos like you know the beanie over the eyes and mm-hmm. shit the weird stance and he's like 
<laughs> like it comes in, he's, he's like, uh, and he's like, uh, what? he's like, I'm coming to get my qu my quesadilla. He was calling it, they were, he was calling it a quesadilla, <laughs> and he couldn't find it. So he's like, he starts yelling. He's like, Yo, Hector, what you do? What you do with my quesadilla? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, I ate it, Holmes. He's like, he's like Hector, watch. <laughs> you see, what, if a Mexican would watch that, they would laugh because they because we we love racist jokes the most. Mexicans love racist shit. <laughs> Bro, it was so funny, dude. For me, it was the way he was saying Hector. He's like, yo, Hector. <laughs> Hector, where the fuck is my quesadilla? <laughs> he wasn't saying quesadilla. He was saying quesadilla. <laughs> What's my quesadilla way? What the fuck? <laughs> I always think oh it would be God. funny to like do like a gay cholo thing. Like these two cholos are like deeply in love <laughs> and they have like they have like marital problems. <laughs> and people like over over here like these two cholos having like a like a domestic argument about like domestic abuse case. You don't even talk to me anymore, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm over here beating my dick, and you're just sitting there playing Call of Duty, man. What the fuck is that? Dude, dude that, that, just, that, that sounds like it would be incredible. I'm sitting here with my cock in my hand. I was about to come, man. And it's like, all the way, I just don't, I just don't notice you. It's like, it's like, I just don't know how to open up, man. What the fuck? I don't know how to open up, SM. What the fuck? <laughs> You know what? That's what you know. What you should make like a comic of that, and that should be that should be like the the video for the, the background video for the next episode. Yeah, I it used should, to do. It should them go be going over their marital issues. I used to do that shit all the time with like some guy I went to high school with. His name <laughs> his name was Juan, and me and him uh, would just sit in class just act like gay like a gay fat couple. <laughs> and we, and yeah, we be like, butt, he's like, dog, you fucking left cum in me, man. He's <laughs> 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 like, oh shit, I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> and me and him would fucking die laughing every <laughs> day. <laughs> Dude, that, that, that's like, the, those are the types of friendships I love personally, because it's yeah. like, nobody else finds it funny except you two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that guy was cool. But uh, I I stopped talking to him a long time ago. Kind of just grew apart. Juan sounds like he might hate gay people. Nah, he loved gay. Juan people. hate gay people. Was it, he? He was gay. <laughs> no, no, I he was wasn't gay. I I knew I knew another guy who was homophobic, and I used to be so gay around him. <laughs> You're like, dude, stop! You're like, no. <laughs> yeah, stop. It, it, genu <laughs> it genuinely made him uncomfortable. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, I'll just sit, I'll just in the back blowing some guy right now. What are you up to? He's like, what? He's <laughs> like, yo. Honestly, I'd be like that too, but not because I'm homophobic. <laughs> oh, I was talking dick, but you really need me to help you out with something. So fine, I'll here I come. Oh, my nose is itchy. I wish someone would suck on the tip of my nose. You know what, what I'm talking about? That is a thing, weirdly enough. What, to suck on someone's nose? Yeah, like on the tip oh. of it. We're beating my dick here. I play Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm over here beating. He's like, I'm over here beating my dick. I'm over here stroking my shit. I got lotion on my dick. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm over here beating my dick. I got lotion on my dick. I got lotion. Ah, oh, whatever. I fucked it up. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Horny as fuck. Horny as <laughs> fuck. The freak, man. Bro, I seen like a really stupid video of. I seen like a really stupid video of um, it was an F18. Like trying to refuel, and they're like, "Oh, connected. How you doing, sir?" And, it cut, and it's like, "I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick. I just stroke my <laughs> shit. It's got like a little radio sound over. It. It's like I'm horny as fuck, <laughs> bro. It's so funny. <laughs> like, it's like, oh god, there was a time in the field where we had this dude yelling over a radio after there was like a a, a, a officer meeting. This dude was yelling over the radio with some Arnold Schwarzenegger lines. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they just got on the radio. There was like no professionality here. They just got on the radio and they were like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine that instead. No, he didn't. 
<laughs> they didn't know who no, it was. I, they thought it was radio. It was, like this dude wasn't even radio at all. He had no reason to be near that thing. <laughs> <laughs> just he on just it. Walked, he just walked over, started doing. Come on, get, get to the top. Of, no, no. <laughs> I, the I think that's like the best part of Arma is just like fucking with the comms <laughs> and being stupid on the comms is fucking hilarious. Well, well we can't fuck with comms mm-hmm. because we don't have team speak, silly Billy. Oh yeah, huh? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, team speak. If only someone would stop playing Gmod and play Arma instead with me. Hmm. Hey, guess what? I couldn't download Arma because all like all the data got corrupted overnight. What? I had a factory reset this PC. Well, that's tough. And the first thing you reinstalled was Gmod. How far are you fallen? Yeah. What the hell? What What the fuck? <laughs> it was It was Gmod, Insurgency, and Destiny. What's the first uh, game you guys usually install? Like when you do like a wipe. Hmm? I don't, I've never done a wipe on this system. So I'll tell you the first game I installed when I got this system uh, was, well, actually, I don't, I moved everything over. So I didn't do a fresh, like the system was fresh when I got, when I built this one, but I didn't do anything beyond like, you know, Uh uh, so no, I didn't have to reinstall much. Well, I do it every year. Oh, yeah? And the first of every year, I, I reset my whole system. Mm. And the first game I always install is Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft will yeah, always yeah. be my love, my joy. I don't even play Minecraft. I just have it on the computer. Minecraft is so I, good, dude. I wanted on, to play Arma, but... But you want to play Minecraft instead? <laughs> no, it's just there was more going on with Gmod than there was Arma. Well, you said that we were gonna do Arma next week. Well, no, I said you had to fix the server by next week. Well, it was fixed last night. Is it? Yeah, okay. I, I I figured it out. I I had a thought overnight. I was like, I wonder if I know what the problem is. I should probably look at it. And I went and I fixed it, and I I was right. Yeah, remember when this podcast was was made to like uh, promote our shitty Arma server? And then you stopped playing it. I. What do you mean? <laughs> I stopped playing it. You stopped playing it. Bullshit! Everybody stopped playing it. How many times have I asked you to play Arma, and I've been shafted by Gmod? How many times have I been getting on Arma, and I've just been shafted by everybody? Um, you mean when you get on Arma and tell no one? So, so you knew when I was on. No. What, how the fuck would I know? You don't announce it. You piece of shit. I don't know y'all's fucking schedule. You just put at every and day. Any time I did announce it, it would get ignored. Every single time I announced something, it would get ignored. But you also hey, said, we're having a meeting. You're the only one that shows up. But you also said because uh, you always fucking play at night, like at 11 a.m. Yeah. Or p.m. 11 a.m. <laughs> 12 a.m. At night. A.m. <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. You play at weird hours also. All right, bud. I yes, I am aware of that, and I've been trying to fix it, but my job just does not fucking like me. I don't think it's that they don't like you. I think it's that you don't like them, and they can they can t- sense it. <laughs> <laughs> they can sense, it. dude. I'm telling you, like, we have new leadership that has not been paying attention to my needs. The oh. biggest issue, yeah, to the the biggest concern I've been giving is I still have military drill. I have to get there by five or six in the morning. Yep on saturdays and i tell them this and they know that i work till 11 and they're like okay we'll see, we'll see what we can do i ask them at the end later hey uh so it's been a couple of months uh is there any chance of me getting the first shift what are you talking about why do you wait so long <laughs> what do you mean what if i wait so long i've been asking constantly you can't just mention it once and then wait a couple of months and, and then be like hey what happened whatever happened to that you have to ask they them s- every day until they actually do it no, because they're on the the premise of removing me completely. Well, I don't know what to tell you. If you're not if you're not reminding people to get shit done for yourself, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I have been, and apparently they've been telling me that other people who who are old are getting that shift. Who are who's old? Like just old people in general are just getting that that shift. It's like, but what about? Yeah, well, what Old the people fuck? who are this new to the site. This is always just you. <laughs> no, it's not just me. There's, a, there's another Marine. Like, uh, he's a former Marine for my unit. Uh-huh. And he's asked for that shift, too. And they're ignoring him as well. 
It's always you. You have to you have to mention it every fucking day, bro. I dude. Every day. I've been mentioning it. No, you don't. You just said that you I, mentioned ever, ever it, and then since... a month later you ask about it. Yeah, this was this was like way before count. the changes were made. This is way before changes were made because I knew that shift was gonna end up being open because the guy that was there had medical issues and uh -huh. he was destined to leave. So I asked. I was like, hey. Uh, if it if it keeps becoming a concern for the schedule, uh, can I just take first shift then? Because I actually really need it, mm -hmm. and I give really good reasons, mm -hmm. and they completely like blew me off, and, and I never knew. And then tomorrow, what do you say? Nothing. I have to stay quiet. No, apparently, you don't. No, you no, don't. You're just not no, a man. No, I have to stay quiet because apparently, they're trying to remove me. Like they're targeting me. Then, then, then you fucking press them, bro. You're a, you're a man. <laughs> no, oh my god, that means I should stay quiet, not no, press them. No, it doesn't. No, yes, it does. Nothing's gonna happen if you just let shit happen to you. You have to take charge. No, I have to stay under the fucking radar because they're targeting me right now. What do you What do you live in? in Korea? <laughs> you live Christ, in America, like damn it. I feel like you don't. You don't understand what I'm telling you. I feel like you don't understand that you have agency over your life. <laughs> I, knew, I knew to start, like, pressing it, right? So uh -huh. I tried doing that. But then some shit happened where the new supervisor thinks she has to write everybody up on, on like, a, a fence that she finds offensible. So do it after your shift when you're off the clock. No, because guess what? She made a fucking post order that says she's not to be called when she's not working. Well, I mean... Wait, wait, she she's not working while you're off shift? You don't have any yeah. shifts that don't overlap? But you mean when I'm asleep? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh my god. The problem is that you, you think that you can't do anything, so you're just like, I'm just going to let shit happen, and uh, I'm going to complain. I'm not letting <laughs> it happen. I'm telling you, you have to fucking remind them all the time. Nothing's going to happen. No, I'm just going to look for a different place to work. Or that too. You could do that too. Yeah, what the fuck? Piece think of I'm shit. just gonna sit there for the rest of my life. Piece These of people shit. are shit. This this is all deeply. This is a deep psychiatric <laughs> level inside of you. <laughs> oh my god! How about you bring up what we talked about you last night? <laughs> no, I will leave this podcast. <laughs> you can do the rest by yourself. Fucking Christ! Where's Argus? You already, you already drove Argus away. <laughs> no, I've, I've been here. I'm just listening. <laughs> Drove Argus away with with your lack of manhood. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You need to, you need to, you need to have some confidence in yourself, Orlon. God damn. <laughs> well, that's done nothing for me, so I think I would rather be a whiny little shit. No, you have to have confidence. That it's try done this. nothing for me. Try it this. has done nothing for me. Try this confidence exercise. Get butt naked. Go, in, go into the mirror and then beat off all over <laughs> what the hell it always what's works. weird is it sounds, sounds like a real thing <laughs> yeah just have more confidence bro I want you to succeed I want and to it always, it always to upsets it, as, it upsets me because you make so many excuses possible. you make so many excuses and you're just too afraid to take charge it that pisses me, me off. <laughs> what you just said, Milk, makes me think of the time a therapist called Cartman in South Park fat. So mm -hmm. so he fabricated a whole thing to make it look like the therapist was talking to underage girls and made his wife kill herself on the phone with him. <laughs> what? I don't remember this. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do, but it's hard to do when Borlon just kind of, you know, breaks the system. <laughs> Breaks his system and then does nothing for the whole day. Bastard. <laughs> but yeah. And then, uh, you know what else pissed me off? I'm not going to bring up what we talked about, but I'm going to bring up what you said about Matil. How you, he said, you said he was lucky for getting into mm -hmm. college. And that pissed no, me I off. No, that's not what I said. You said you, he was lucky. I was like, how is he lucky? He's the one that put the work no, in. No, I didn't say he was like. I said he set himself up for that. Like, he, he's, he's, he did it himself. Yeah, he did the work, and you were saying that yeah. he was lucky for that. I was like, how was that luck? It's fucking hard I never work, said bro. luck. What the fuck? You said luck. <laughs> did I? 
Jerry, you said luck. I remember Jerry. it. <laughs> you fucking say my first name, you shit. <laughs> you said luck, Jerry. Jerry. I didn't say luck. I didn't you... say luck. <laughs> Yeah, let's just do, let's just do the rest of the podcast with with Seinfeld. If you'll excuse me, I have to be bald and go drink coffee with the president. <laughs> Obama. Obama. You mean Obama? Never my president. What the hell? He's not even from America, <laughs> dude. There was a fucking. Huh? You just say Obama's not from Amer- the United States. No, I said he's, Mil- not, Mil- he's not my president. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I, I said that, Mill. No, it's because of what you said the other night about... Obama? Yeah. Or, no, was it Argus that said that that white lady told you that Obama was not from America? It's possible. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That oh. was him. I knew, yeah. <laughs> white lady that babysat me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking she, evil... She, she tried whitewashing you. He's like, illegal. <laughs> like the visit. Yeah. Obama. I wonder what growing up in Hawaii is like. Because it feels... I feel like it would you wouldn't have anything to do there, you know? It's mostly tourism for that. You know what I'm talking about? I I think I've met a couple of people from Hawaii who said something similar. That it's just... there's not, Or who've lived there and they're like, there's nothing to do. Because it's just, it's just tourism. Yeah, and they're like it's probably cool at the first couple times, and you're like, I don't, I don't really give a shit anymore. <laughs> if I lived in Hawaii, I would go into the volcano and build a nuclear weapon inside of it, and no one would know. Understand? But I will say, the if you're like a throw it off, huh? <laughs> if you're like a native, though, there's probably things you, there's probably a lot to do, but like. I remember when the volcanoes were going on, where, like, the whole island chain was pretty much on fire. Mm-hmm. And um, I was at, like, a, a mountain resort and, like, filled, filled with, like, rich white people, pretty much. You were at a mountain all resort? The, yeah, we used to go there. Um, you were a megazord? No. What? I wasn't Shut listening. <laughs> I was at a mountain resort in Oregon, megazord. in my state. <laughs> yeah, megazord, like, from Power Rangers. You're rich, Argus. <laughs> no, no. It's only like something we 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 don't do it anymore, but it's like a rare thing. You're rich. Um, but d- we did that during the the volcano stuff, and all the people there could talk about was how much how nice the real estate's gonna be after it's all over. That is kind of dark. <laughs> it's yeah. It was some of the most fucked up shit I, could, I ever heard. It was like like I was like people have died and. And yeah. you're and you're more concerned about all the you're more concerned about how nice the real estate and how cheap it's gonna be after when you like build your fucking condos on people's destroyed homes. Yeah, thank God we just sh- that all these lives are shattered. We can we can save a couple bucks. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's so fuck. That's that is dark as hell. I always love calling that out though, cause they'll cause those types of people like think they're like morally superior. <laughs> And like mm-hmm. are always good, but then when you call them out on like how fucked up what they <laughs> the thing they just said is, they're like, oh no, you you, you it's, it's not like that. It's not that context. It's like no, you just can't you just can't imagine. <laughs> well, they're well, they're usually like, they, no one ever calls them out on it, so then mm-hmm. they feel comfortable saying it until that one person like, yo, that's fucked up. Yeah. Or gets on their case about, it, and then they don't know what to say. We the actually had a guy. Like, oh, go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Oh, me? Oh, uh... Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to say, I think the problem with it is that they, they just literally can't even fathom like something like that, like something that tragic happening to them. So they just can't even have that much empathy for it when they see it like on, mm-hmm. on the TV or on the internet. We actually had a guy in my internet. Uh, this dude acted like a real cock, like a real douchebag when he showed up. Give me an in example. fact, I think he still does. He, uh, what he did was he ended up getting his girlfriend pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, like, during drill, he's telling us that he's texting this other girl saying that he, he can't wait to go to her house and, and smash. Don't you get kicked out of the military for for, for adultery? Well, that's, that would be if he was married to that girl. Oh, gotcha. You can get kicked so, out for adultery? Mm-hmm, because yeah. it's like, it's a, the conduct is something like, it's like either... 
behavior not ex like exhibited by a gentleman or like behavior that would sow doubt in the military. So basically, yeah. it's like behavior that makes the military look bad, adultery included, could get you kicked out. But what if like you're married, right? And you go to the military, mm -hmm. you go into the barracks and you blow your bunkmate. Is that <laughs> adultery <laughs> or is that is that forgiven? <laughs> Because what happens on the battlefield stays on the battlefield, right? Well, so, um, <laughs> honestly, well, well, we actually had a guy call him out on it, too. Uh-huh. And, and this was, this dude literally goes, bro, you just said you, you're expecting a child. Why the fuck are you saying you're going to go hook up with some other girl when your girl is waiting at home for you? Yeah. Oh, that's really fucked up. That is really fucked up, and also know know where you're speaking, <laughs> know the context of the room. <laughs> what do you me? No, because I'm I'm sure that there was like some dudes no, in the there dude. that had like people waiting for them at home, and here this guy is bragging that he's gonna cheat on someone. That's yeah. Waiting for oh him. no no this this <laughs> came no that that comment came from a kid that uh he he's actually very single. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he kind of deserves it. Anyways, what happened? He's probably oh. still in the military. The guy, the guy that wanted to cheat on his girlfriend. What do, what do you say to that man that called him out? Stop playing Gmod. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of you playing but, Gmod. <laughs> by the way, I'm not. By the way, when I say the whole thing of like, I'm not. I don't think people should get kicked out of the military because they cheated. But at the same time, I can understand on some level why the military might not like that. Yeah, it's like it's like in prison, like when people are gloating about uh, getting out and then murdering, or like like they're not even not 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 getting out to murder someone, but they're like gloating about how they're gonna get out like in a week or whatever. That's frowned upon because there are some guys in there that are like serving like fucking another twenty years and shit, or just will never get out. Yeah, or that too. Mm -hmm. like yeah, prisoners like, will get pissed off if you like gloat that you're gonna get out. You don't even tell anybody. Well, that, <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like that's more like a moral thing though, because it's like yeah, like you said, there's people in there who 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 are gonna who are still serving their time, and it's gonna be a long time before they get out, mm -hmm. or they're just never getting out. And it's just like, yeah, let's be honest. There's, uh, unfortunately, so in this country, there's a lot of people who are serving life sentences for shit that arguably is bad like mm -hmm. you can get a life sentence for a lot of stupid shit mm -hmm. like like weed you can get a life sentence for having too, yeah exactly you can get a life sentence for having too much weed on you even though it's legal too now much, <laughs> even or possessing too much marijuana like that's ridiculous you should not like how does how does having too much marijuana equate you to someone who murdered four people the person who murdered four people in cold blood for no reason because they thought it was cool that person deserves to be in for life not the guy who just had a lot of weed. There are people yeah. still serving for because they had I, weed. It's mm -hmm. I, I actually not only not only just the people that are selling weed, but also the the women that have defended themselves and when they they were getting attacked by a sexual aggressor, uh -huh. and and they're they're being sent to prison because they murdered that their assaulter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. What was her name? Bianca. It was like something Bianca, right? I mean, they're still. I've heard about at the end this. of the day, they're still chicks. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my. Hey, that's my line. No, like, 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 it, it was a sixteen-year-old girl. Oh. oh. Was she being trafficked? Because I think I know. What yes, she's she, she yeah, was she's being, being trafficked, trafficked, and she murdered her trafficker. Yeah, and, and they're got, throwing and her in prison. prison. That is uh -huh. such and bullshit, like, dude. And some people are saying that she deserved it because she gloated about it because she was like, "I'm about to," because she because apparently she had said some things about how she killed him and took his money, and she did. But um, people are like, oh, like well, she gloated about it. It's like, I mean, yeah, maybe she what? might have gloated about it. But if you've been if you've been sex trafficked and you've probably been raped, you deserve abused, a win. Sexually abused, and then you murder the dude and gloat about it. I mean, she should get yeah. a medal, dude. Yeah, you're kind of ba <laughs> you're kind of you kind of have every right to gloat about killing your abuser. She, <laughs> like, she, yeah. should, get, she should get a medal of valor for that. What the fuck? Yeah, right, I'll be right back. Should have teabagged him. Mm hmm. <laughs> she backed him and did a Fortnite dance. She should have, she should have crapped on his chest and like uh, came all over him. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> uh, somebody would have had to came and bury the poo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I and then I would and then I would come over like an hour later and smell it. 
But um, anyways, <laughs> I, I think we got off topic there. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, my point for your story, Borlan, was that uh, I'm sure it's more fucked up because I bet there's like guys there that, you know, had people waiting for them at home that they were loyal to, you know? And here's this guy just, you know, completely spitting on that. Yeah. On those principles they hold dear to them. Like, know your audience, you know? <laughs> it wasn't, yeah, it was just one guy that that was single that called him out on it. And... And you disagreed. You are like, no, I love cheating. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, he's gonna bang, like, this really hot blonde. Look, go for it. You're like, Fuck shut your up. Kid. I love banging your... married women. <laughs> Fuck your, your kid is, is, who cares? He's probably gonna high-five you later when he finds out. You're like, banging married women is like my favorite pastime, and I love shattering relationships. <laughs> is that what you said? No. Yeah. I didn't say anything, because like, like, that was enough. Mm-hmm. What'd the guy say? He he stayed quiet, like, and he just put his phone away. Yep. He he was shamed. He, he, he stopped. Good. That is a fucked up thing to do. Yeah. I mean, I mean, how was he going to defend himself? Flush the baby down, damn. <laughs> Flush the baby down. <laughs> nah. Babies are kind of cool. Yeah. I'd say toddlers are the worst. And then, they, yeah. and, then, and then younger kids are cool. I just don't like toddlers, to be honest. That's like the worst. Because they're, they're, they're smart enough to be assholes. <laughs> but they're not smart enough to, you know, control themselves. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Like, a toddler will just be an asshole and not understand when, when their parents tell them not to do that. But a kid will be an asshole, and then the parents will tell him not to do that, and he'll get butt hurt because he still wants to. But he realizes what they're saying, you know? Kids fucking blow, dude. And, and you know... <laughs> blow chunks! And, and a baby kind of, you know, is, is kind of not even there. <laughs> it's not even all there, really. Mm -mm. Yep. Babies have no clue what's going on. Yeah. That's why I, I never get why people are like, uh, fetuses are alive. Because I'm like, damn, bro, if you pull that thing out, it's like, it's like looking at a worm. <laughs> I guess technically it's alive, but also who cares? <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. I'm sure if Viper was here, he would, he would, go, he would go hog wild right now. <laughs> Isn't he an EMT though? So I feel like he should know this. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, yeah, but so what? I'm saying that even if it's alive, it, who gives a shit? <laughs> True, killing who babies does give is cool. <laughs> killing baby I worm. I don't give a fuck. I'll kill a goddamn worm well, right now. Well, the other thing too is that as like they're talking about <laughs> how they're like we're trying to save children, but there's children dying all over the world, and you give more fucks about a child that isn't even fucking considered legally alive yet. Yeah. But yeah. Like what? Viper believes in uh in pro life that Gay. every every baby should be alive. <laughs> but um I'm on the belief of I don't give a shit cuz I'm not a lady. <laughs> Let the ladies figure it out. I don't give a fuck. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> we here at you know, I want you know, because I want this to be like an official statement. I'm gonna switch back over to the other mic real quick. Mm -hmm. Alright, am I switched to the better mic? I think so. Okay, here's hoping. We here officially at the Tangents Podcast believe that in terms of the discussion and debate over abortion, we're men, we don't give a fuck, let the ladies handle it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe we should be focused on more pressing matters. Like, why the fuck are we still, <laughs> still circumcising children? In the 21st century. I'm completely fine with it. Poor Borlon here has no hood. He has no idea the pleasures he <laughs> uh, has. I actually, dude, I, I actually don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm circumcised, bro. I, got, I still yeah. got foreskin. <laughs> I, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it then. I don't feel it still now. Yeah, Argus's foreskin was like 40 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not fat, bro. <laughs> it's Argus, not fat. Argus had like 50 feet of foreskin. And they're like, I don't even know where to cut what? this thing. I can't. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. Um. Huh? 
I'm confused. What's the whole thing around people being anti circumcision? It just doesn't make any sense. It's just like it's just fucking weird and a waste of money. <laughs> That's well, yeah, what I, I don't think get it. Is. Like, some be and the thing is with the circumcision thing is weird because there's there's only one side. People are like, It's terrible, it's genital mutilation and there's people are like I don't give a fuck. I think I think it I'm on the side I don't general, give a fuck. I think it is kinda of genital mutilation. I don't know enough to debate about it, but also I don't care. Circumcise your kid or not. No, don't circumcise them. They'll end up like borderline, and you do not want that. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, I think that's it. We're done. Yay. Mm. End O pod. End O pod. Uh, to anybody that watches this to the end or just you know skips the entire thing, is like, what are they t- talking <laughs> about at the end here? You can come look at the look at the channel. I don't know if the Discord link is there. I don't fucking remember. But uh, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs>